Let's do this, Alan. I know what you want to review. Yes. Let's yes. talk about this. Is this is gonna be a fun one? Uh, just because uh, just talking about this movie could get us canceled. Uh, this is the story of this documentary. I believe it's coming out on Showtime uh, about Louis C.K. and his uh, troubles as of late. Um, does not Louis C.K. does not appear in this movie, but everyone who has a beef or problem with what Louis C.K. did and said is in this movie, uh, and a lot of journalists too. But uh, if you're not aware, uh, Louis C.K. Uh, got himself in a bit of uh, trouble. Apparently, he likes to whip it out when being uh, when when in the presence of uh, fellow female comedians. And uh, did it happen? Well, Louis C.K. at uh, one point admitted, yes, uh, everything he is being accused of is, is absolutely true. And this story just kind of goes into uh, this phenomenon of cancel culture, of, uh, of Louis' form of Me Too. Um, you know, I I'll say this. Uh, this is just, this is one of those where just by talking about it, we're going to get in a lot of trouble because uh, because we're going to ask questions. It, it 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 doesn't want you to ask questions, the documentary, but you are going to ask questions. Um, I'll say this. If I did what Louis C.K. did, uh, I would be canceled, and I would feel like, yeah, I was justified in being canceled. Um, that, that's just something I would never do and wouldn't tolerate. Uh, I wouldn't even tolerate if my daughter was with someone who, who did this thing. Um, and... Um, you know, and I, I don't necessarily like being around people like uh, who go into this extreme locker room talk. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a prude, but there there are limits to where I'll just not want to be involved in a conversation. Um, but at the same time, do I want a person like that to not have their job? Do I want a person like that to not succeed in life? Uh, I may not like the person or what they do, but I'm not going to wish uh, wish you know, bad things to happen to them. And, and that's what this, this documentary just feels like. Uh, you know, we, we just decided that what, what Louis C.K. did was as bad as Harvey Weinstein. Uh, and, and by asking that question of, well, was it really as bad as Harvey Weinstein? Um, people got canceled for even just asking that question. Uh, I'll even throw out the idea of Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres created a toxic work environment where people feared for their jobs every day going in. Was that worse than what Louis C.K. did? Was that as bad as what Harvey Weinstein did? Um, what what the movie? What's weird about the movie is it doesn't point out the hypocr the hypocrisy of the discussion, uh, but it just amplifies the fact that you know when you're watching this. I think it really wants you to believe that Louis C.K. is Weinstein. And uh, and I don't think you can walk away from this movie thinking that he is. Uh, and and then it just lays into, uh, you know, his, his, his comeback. Uh, the third act of this movie is about the comeback and whether he should have, well, you know, people saying, well, who, who allowed him to, to return? You know, has he, has he, uh, you know, has he uh, fulfilled his prison term? You know, these are the questions. And and then you get into the media of, uh, you know, this the story of what what Louis C.K. did evolved over time through the through the media to the point where you know he might as well have been. We you know we we have no problems likening to Weinstein, and um, so it's weird that this movie is really trying to take down Louis C.K. Uh, but at the same time, I think it, it points out the problems that, that the media, the problems that the Me Too movement, the problems that uh, that people have, uh, you know, it, it just amplifies that. It exposes that unintentionally. And so this is just one of those weird, uh, weird documentaries. Um, I, I'll say this, um, you know, the people who were, who who felt hurt, who felt slighted, who felt assaulted by Louis C.K., um, you know, I'll 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 point this out not to, as an indictment, but as a question. But it feels like that these people are trying to get through their problems, get through their trauma, in the media as opposed to doing it through therapy. And that's what that's the sense I got from from this. Um, and so, you know, I don't know that I can recommend this, but if you want to look at the state of the state of Me Too today. Uh, and, uh, you know, and you put on your critical thinking hat, 
this is probably a movie you want to watch just to get an understanding of what, you know, where the battle lines are being drawn and what tactics are being used. And uh, so, look, I'm not the I'm not a big fan of Louis C.K., but uh, I don't I definitely don't believe in his cancellation for what he did. Um, you know, and we can, you know, and right there, that statement I just made probably get me canceled. Well, I have one big question because mm -hmm. I I have made a documentary film. I have another documentary film uh, I'm I've been working on for a long time, and I am a fan of the documentary film format: music docs, pop culture docs, historical docs, political docs. I love documentaries. Documentaries today are terrible. Yep. For one reason, they are not balanced. Mm -hmm. It used to be a doc filmmaker would like, let's go on a journey. Let's tell the truth and see where it leads us. Every doc I see now has an agenda, a political agenda, some agenda about whatever the subject is. They've decided what the end will be before they start making the doc. And there are plenty yeah. of financing outlets that will finance films to specifically push an agenda. So all the issue-based docs, political or otherwise, I don't trust any of them. Can you trust, like, does, do you get the sense this movie, because somehow the New York times was involved in this doc. Mm -hmm. It says from the New York times on the poster. Well, it's from the story. The New York times broke. That's what the movie is based on. Do you get the sense that it was a balanced balance? No, no absolutely not. This is uh, not a balanced movie, and and that's why uh, that's why I was interested in this one, to because it exposes how people with agendas uh, portray, tell, frame stories, uh -huh. uh, because they are you know this this movie is one hundred percent anti Louis, and um and the people involved, uh you know they 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 get their voice, that you know they they're being heard. Uh, and that's why I'm saying is, you know, if look what Louis did, if you were involved in that, you need to talk to somebody uh, because going out and telling your story on social media and in, in the mainstream media is not going to help you. Uh, you so, need to talk to somebody. You need to talk to a therapist. One big question is Louis interviewed in the movie. Nope. No, of course not. Are there quotes from him or yeah, there, there are, of course there are selected clips from his, uh, from his uh, his stand up, especially the the last one that came out that addressed uh, addressed this the the whole idea that uh, you know that the, his last stand up special was supposed to be an apology. You know, you've got all these experts and journalists telling you why it wasn't an apology, and I'm like, oh my god, you know, it's like the it's just a stand up act, and and you're putting they're they're putting so much meaning into this that that you know, well, if this was his apology. Uh, you know, this was not an apology and he did more damage. You know, that's, that's the thing that comes out of this. Uh, so it's like horrible conversations on Twitter, but as a movie. Yeah. Well, it's like me hanging out with my liberal white friends. So do you recommend, sorry, not sorry. You know, if you are a, uh, if you are interested in culture and the culture wars, I would absolutely recommend this. Uh, if you're interested in, uh, a look at what happened to Louis C.K.? No, absolutely not. Yeah, it just... Docs today are propaganda. I hardly see a doc today where I think, oh, wow, the filmmaker is very unbiased. But it's because of money. Money controls what docs get made and what docs say. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know of any doc filmmakers who have butlers. Yeah. You'll, it's very rare doc filmmakers who are rich or have money. Maybe Brett Morgan, you know, look him up. But um, very few doc filmmakers are financially successful or doc filmmakers come from money and they get, they get funding because of what they're going to say in the doc. I don't trust it. Like mm -hmm. I haven't seen this, but I don't know that I have a desire, a desire to. Yeah. You know, I mean, Look, the like I said, this is this is one of those documentaries that if you don't agree with uh, with it a hundred percent, you're a misogynist. You are as bad as Harvey Weinstein, and that's my problem with it. Is that uh, you know a documentary at its best should be balanced and should ask questions. 
to or should provoke you to to try to answer questions. And uh, this one doesn't want to do that. Yeah. Well, you know, my mom, I from when I was a kid, I've always said, question everything. Mm -hmm. Question everything. Speaking of misogynists, let's go to our chat. 